Today, a group of space enthusiasts are pushing President Obama to release government documents on possible close encounters with aliens and UFOs. Jim Acosta has the story. To believers in UFOs, the truth isn't out there, it's in there. So they're calling on President Obama to end what they insist is a government cover-up of the existence of extraterrestrials. Will you release these records? Will you release all documents? Documents they claim exist and prove there is life in outer space. President Obama is awfully busy these days. I know he Do you think is. he has time for this? Well, let's say, I would say, the fact that we are not alone in the universe is one of the more important aspects of our time. Former Apollo astronaut Edgar Mitchell, the sixth man to walk on the moon, told the National Press Club he's convinced. But there isn't convincing proof that's going to convince the entire world at this that point. That is correct. That is what we're trying to open up. We're about to go out and do our little hoax. Equally committed are UFO skeptics. Earlier this year, two skeptics set off weather balloons that people in New Jersey mistook for alien spacecraft. <laughs> The pranksters showed up on the local news, pretending to be eyewitnesses. And all of a sudden we see these lights literally zip over our car. They later admitted it was all a hoax and paid a $250 fine for creating a disturbance. Again, we're not trying to prove or disprove anything, but it's okay to be skeptical. Be open-minded counter UFO believers, pointing to former White House Chief of Staff and former Obama transition team head John Podesta. It's time to find out what, what the truth really is that's out there. It's a question President Obama has fielded before. The three astronauts of Apollo 11 who went to the moon back in 1969 all said that they believe there is life beyond Earth. Do you agree? You know, I don't know, and I don't presume to know. What I know is there is life here on Earth, and, and that we're not attending to life here on Earth. It depends on uh, what these aliens were like um, and whether they were Democrats or Republicans. As for John Podesta, he's still sticking to his belief that the government knows more than it's telling about UFOs. He released a statement saying the government should open the files and the American people can handle the truth. Scientists say they've discovered a planet outside our solar system that is close to Earth, at least in size. As many as 300 so-called exoplanets, or planets outside our solar system, have been discovered. But most are much larger than Earth. Now, researchers say that the new planet is probably too hot for human life because it sits very close to the 